Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is check the bearings on uh, the motor. Now you can see the blower wheel from here. You're lucky on this one because uh, there isn't any return air on it. You can see it. Normally you've got to come through from the side. And you're looking for end play. Should be a little bit of end play, not much. But mostly you're looking for, do I get a uh, movement in the bearings this way? While you're doing it, you're getting your fingers in there, and you're finding out if this thing's dirty, or get your mirror in there and find out if it's dirty. If it's dirty, you're going to have to pull that blower out and get it clean. Uh, but check those bearings, make sure the thing moves smoothly like that, about how it should move, and you've checked out that blower. Okay, to give you a little better idea of what it looks like, I've got the blower out, and I'm going to look for oilers in this blower. Now what I'm looking for is little caps somewhere around here. Occasionally they're on the bottom. Uh, not supposed to be, but occasionally they are. If they are on the bottom, you have to rotate the blower so that they're up. I don't have oilers, so it is permanently lubricated. Okay, next thing I'm going to do is pull that manifold off. Uh, where the burners are hooked to. Take the top plate off and uh, get the burners out of there and see if we can get them clean and get them back in. Okay now I've got this uh, manifolds loose. I'm going to take this top plate off. I've already pulled out the hot surface igniter which is on this side and laid it aside because it's very delicate and you don't want to damage it. Flame rod's right here. I'm going to pull it out and then I'm going to pull this plate off of here and we can get, take a look at those burners. Okay, now I've got one of the burners out. Now this is the part that goes into, the flame comes out of the front of there and the gas comes in here and primary air here. So I'm going to clean out this area here. This doesn't look too bad. This looks like it's got uh, quite a bit of crap on it, so I'm going to take like a toothbrush and see if I can clean that thing up. Okay, that's pretty well cleared up. Make sure you clear, clean out these uh, flame spreaders on the side. Uh, get whatever brush you're using in there, toothbrush, wire brush, whatever. Uh, and just make sure it's reasonably clean in there. And then you can put these burners back in. Okay, while those burners are out, you should be taking a fairly high intensity light. Do not use a trouble light to check inside here. Uh, trouble light just puts way too much light everywhere. You use a flashlight, especially one of the, the LED types, and point it in there. And I'll get a little closer. This is, you're not going to be able to see this really well, but... Uh, but you're looking back in there to see if there's any cracks, rust, or anything like that in that heat exchanger. Uh, obviously, if a heat exchanger is heavily rusted, uh, there's real problems. The heat exchanger is probably going to have to be replaced, but there may be other problems, like it's under-fired or something like that. Uh, if there's any cracks in there. Now, cracks are pretty tough to see this way. Uh, if you have an inspection camera, they're great. You can uh, put that probe up in there and look all through there and do a really good job because most of your cracks in your heat exchanger are going to be in this first tube. I don't mean the first tube of the three. I mean in the first section of each one of these. But go along uh, and look inside these things as best you can. Remember an awful lot of the work you're doing here to find out if the heat exchanger is bad on these newer furnaces is the way the flame reacts when the fan comes on. But take as close a look as you can while you're in here. Okay, I've got this plate back on. I've got the uh, flame rod uh, in there. I've got the hot surface igniter put back in. I'm ready to put that manifold back together. Now, if you've taken wires off of this thing, uh, then it's a good idea if you're not real familiar with the machine to take a picture of it before you take the wires off and then you can get them back in the right place.
place when you're done. You also use a wiring diagram, but it's a lot simpler to do it with a picture. Okay, next we're going to check out the hot surface igniter to see if it's working properly. 